All right. Welcome back, everyone, to another great AMA here at Gollum Shims. Absolutely incredible streak we've been on this week, welcoming on talented team after talented team. And today is certainly no different as we chat with the crew behind Avarice, who are uh, whose projects that will make you know basically all passive income fans uh, as well as referral system fans. You're going to be happy once we get a, a chance to chat with them. Um, they have a lucrative staking app. But before we dive into it, guys, I got to announce this awesome giveaway for the Gollum Army and the new listeners with one BNB being split up between two lucky random listeners at 0.5 BNB each and a Gollum's golden ticket for the best question asked at the end of the segment. As a quick reminder, these are good for any whitelist spots offered on the channel. So these golden tickets are potentially a very valuable prize. Remember, guys, if you want to qualify for these giveaways, it is super easy. Just make sure you're a member of at Avarice Official, at Gollum's Gems, and at Gollum's Gems Reviews, and you are now eligible. Feel free to send in your questions via DM. If you cannot ask them on voice chat, I'll do my best to ask them on your behalf. Let's get it started. Avarice in the building, Rad Dad, and Elgu are going to be joining us. Let me get you guys unmuted here. Perfect. Elgu, I got you. Rad Dad, I got you as well. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. How are we doing here? Hello. Good. Hello. Love the video chat, fellas. I appreciate it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I, I know everybody. I know everybody else likes it as well. I was blown away, guys. So just a quick intro for everybody that's that's listening in. If you haven't seen it, AverageToken.io. You can get a head start. You've got to check out their panel, their D app that they have out here. It is super cool, guys. They just launched a few weeks ago, offering such a unique system here on their staking D app. I, you know, I know that you guys credited another project on the homepage, but it's the first time I've personally gotten to play around with something like this myself. And you know, I, I had a ton of fun with it. It seems like a really interesting concept. And yeah, I'm excited to learn more, guys. I know you guys have a ton of experience. Maybe we can start there with who's behind the project. Yeah, for sure. And I'll just introduce both of us. I'm Rad Dad. This is Elgu. We're both part of the core team. We aren't the founders of the project, but we are sort of the voice of it. So we do all the AMAs and a lot of the community interaction on our Telegram and our Discord. And just want to say thanks for having us. I mean, your community started joining our Telegram like 45 minutes to an hour ago, and they are hype. And it's awesome to see. So we really appreciate that, you know, bringing the energy to the chat. Um, but yeah, our background is we come from all over the place, but most of us have actually worked together in one capacity or another before. But the actual core founders of the team were part of the T2X project that existed. It was DeFi Summer 2022. And this was a staking dApp on Tron. I'm not sure if any of you have memories long enough to remember that one, but it really sort of kicked off the momentum of what became DeFi Summer. So we took their core dev and we rebuilt it and we've improved on the tokenomics of it and improved on the referral aspects of it and relaunched everything on BSC. And we're currently sitting live in auction day number 20. But I know most of you can be asking, am I too late? We'll get to that, but absolutely not too late because there's basically a new presale every single day, kind of the way we've built everything. So we've all got a long history in crypto, most of us in DeFi the entire time. So we, we've kind of brought all that together to produce what, what's now called Avarice. And also, hello from my part. Uh, I'm the, I, I like to call myself the, the team clown here. So that's like a joke we have around, you know. And uh, yeah, uh, we have people all over the world. And, um, you know, um, I'm from Finland. I, I don't know if, I think Rad did it say where he was from. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like half there, you know, can't see it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've been, uh, around DeFi for, for some time and um, doing some AMAs here and, and, and there. And uh, thank you very much for having us. And um, let's get this started for sure. I'm excited, guys. Again, this is brand new to me, but I, I head over to the, the D app itself. Um, quite some accom or you know, quite a quite accomplishment, I think, in my opinion. Again, I'm new to them. Twenty nine thousand BNB deposit, over twenty thousand participants. Um, the referral system seemingly is just catching fire. I see it all over YouTube when I look on there. Um, you guys are everywhere, and I even know where your focuses were. But that referral system is lucrative enough for it just to spread, right? Once people start hearing about it. Yeah, and that was one of the things that really set us off in that first week is a whole bunch of YouTubers just started producing content, wasn't paid content, they just did it on their own because they saw the value in that referral system. But I'll give you an overview and then we can get into the referrals because I'm sure you've got team builders in the chat that are curious about how that whole thing works. How about that? I would love to, man. Yeah, I was, I was trying to figure out how we're going to approach this thing. Yeah, go ahead. 
All right, I'll, I'll give you the, the overview and then we can go off into the, the the bits of it afterwards. But basically it's a staking DAP. So I'm gonna start by saying this because I saw a lot of questions from your group in our chat about you know PooCoin, what's the price, where can I buy all of that? And there is actually no liquidity for the ABC token. This is purely an auction based token um, purchase. And then it's staked in our DAP to earn BNB dividends. That's it, plain and simple. You participate in a daily auction. There's one every day of the week indefinitely. Um, and then you get your ABC at the end of that. And then once you have your ABC, you set up your stakes. And as soon as those stakes goes live, you start accruing BNB dividends against your stakes. So it's a very simple system when you get into it, but it, it's very powerful because the way we sort of structured the tokenomics is that with each passing day in the lobby, we pull those dividends further into the future. So day, today is day 20, which means all the BNB that we collect today is getting paid out over the next 20 days. Tomorrow will be day 21. It will be get paid out over the following 21 days, which basically ensures that there's a consistent and you know lucrative flow of BNB over the future. That goes all the way out to day 60, where at, after day 60, it will always be 60 days, 60 days, 60 days into the future. So when I kind of mentioned, are, am I too late? Absolutely not. And actually what's happened is we have a few dip days recently. Your crew has really the opportunity to get in now and outwhale the whales because you're buying in at a much better price than our early whales did, which means you'll get more AVC, which means you get a bigger share of the dividend pool at the end. So everything here is based on proportions. It's not based on token price. You know, there's no liquidity for anyone to come in and rug the project. It's all locked into the contract and redistributed back out to our stakers over the duration of their stake. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of questions that have popped off on in that statement. I don't know if Elgu wants to jump in and add anything, but happy to go uh, deeper on all of it. No, I mean, uh, I mean, since you're nati native in English, uh, I, I always love to hear you. I'm, I'm just here to, you know, throw some little bits in, and uh, that was beautiful. I mean, it was uh, plain and simple like that. So, you know, we can go into into the buy devs and, uh, you know, something, uh, you know, a bit, you know, uh, more difficult a bit later. But hey. Uh, I don't have anything to add at this point. Thank you. So maybe, maybe it's good to have my perspective here because it's like, you know, you're sure. dealing with something. I think a lot of us are, are brand new to it. Maybe that might be looking at it. So I'm going to ask questions because, you know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a noob at it. And I'm sure some others might have some. Sure. Well. So please do. It's, please it's, do. It's interesting. It's super interesting. Like once you get once you understand it, it just all clicks for you. You're like, oh, OK, I see the opportunity here. Um, but if anybody wants to check it out, you have to go look at it while we're going through this AMA. It won't make sense to you unless you're actually seeing it, I think, unless you've been involved in these projects before. Uh, but click over to the panel, go over to the lobby. You can see the previous day's auctions. Um, and this is the cool part. So it, it ends at, what was it, 12 p.m. Uh, UTC every day? UTC. Yeah, 12, yeah. yeah, UTC, exactly. Well, I guess 12 a.m. UTC. 12 a.m., uh, yeah. So yeah. you got about five, hour, five hours left on the auction for today. Okay, so like, have you been seeing a lot of people just rush in at the last second? Is that the game, just to sit here and watch it? You know what? So the whales definitely, we call them the snipers, and they definitely come in at the end because they can kind of gauge roughly how much AVC they're going to get. Because that's the thing. Like, if you put a and b in right as the auction turns over to the next day, you're going to see, holy crap, I'm going to get like, you know, 100,000 ABC. And then every time you refresh the page, that number is going to go down because you continually get diluted throughout the day. So what the whales tend to do is they wait till the end of the day and they say, okay, I'm reasonably certain if I drop in 50 BNB right now, I'm going to get roughly this number of tokens and I'm good with that. So they kind of, you'll see that most of the action happens in that last hour of the auction. It's sort of like the eBay mentality, right? You know, everyone waits till the last minute and then they try and outbid each other basically to get the most tokens for that day. And just, you know, just to put it uh, into a perspective, like 50 BNB yesterday would have been like 15%. Uh, and 50 BNB, the second, third, fourth, and fifth day would have been like around five, four, three, 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 four, five percent. So you know, it's 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 all a mind game for people here, and uh, that's that's the beauty of the project because you know every day is like a launch, so everybody's like like this. It's 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 a fun time for sure. It, it seems really, really fun. You know, when I, so let's say I go through the experience, right? I get the adrenaline rush. I get my, my, my big allocation of tokens because everybody was AFK that day, which is awesome for me. I have this, <laughs> this big stack of ABC tokens. What do I do with them? How do I turn this into money? 
Yeah. So as soon as the daily auction closes, like within a minute of it closing, so let, just let's say five hours from now, you've participated in the auction happening right now, you'll be able to go back into our dashboard and collect your tokens for that day. That's a good point to mention now with the referral system is when you hit the collect button, that's when it actually generates your referral reward. So I'll, I'll, pa I'll comment on the referral here just so everybody knows. By using someone's referral link uh, and making an auction bid, you will get 1% additional ABC tokens just for using the link. But the person that actually referred you in gets 5% bonus ABC tokens on everything that you buy through the auction. So all of that happens is triggered by that collect button at the end. Once you've got all those tokens in the in your wallet, you can you go migrate over to the staking portion of our DAP and you can set up all of your stakes. Now, here's where it gets fun. You can set up as many stakes as you want with the minimum staking day being one and the maximum staking length being 300 days. Just understand that all of your dividends that you accrue are locked until the end of your stake. So the contract can't get drained. Whatever you accrue during your stake will be there for payout at the end of that stake, but you can't access them until the end of that staking period. So what we've seen with most of our community is they've set up multiple stakes. So I'm just gonna use, let's say I got 30,000 ABC in today's auction that I can set up my stakes for. They'll do maybe three stakes of 10,000 and they can do one for say 15 days, one for 30 days, one for 45 days, or maybe they wanna go 30, 60, 90. But basically they kind of, hedge their bets and, and stagger those stakes. So they're making sure that they get a portion of every day's dividend payout. So there is a ton of strategy and game theory involved in the platform. Um, but I mean, there's really no wrong way to do it. I wouldn't go one day stakes personally because there's a bit of a downtime in restaking your ABC after you collect your dividends. But most people that we've seen have gone kind of in that 30 to 60 day range up until this point, at least. So something interesting that I also saw that I made uh, made a note here was that let's say I'm hard up on money, I can actually sell these individual stakes as well, right? Yeah. yeah I so I, I mentioned. So go ahead, Elgo. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I could answer uh, that here. Um, there's like a lot of game strategy that comes into the you know into the buy buys and sells, but uh, I've seen even even like 300 day stakes being sold for five BNB, and they have like they already have accrued like around six BNB of dividends. So you're basically like taking uh, one BNB, like, you know, minus one BNB, but you don't want to wait those 300 days. So that's where the, the you know, the, the tricky part comes uh, into, into, you know, into life. So, um, I mean, it's all, uh, if you have like 10 stakes or, or 15 stakes, then, uh, I guess if you need the money right there, right now, then yeah, you can sell one. You can, you know, then get back into the lobby, get more ABC tokens that uh, that you had uh, more than than you have in that had in that stake. So there's like um, there's uh, uh, lo lots of ups and downs in in that regard. But um, I mean, if Fred wants to say something, yeah, something else no, I was about it. So. Just gonna add on, like I mentioned, there was no liquidity to actually sell your ABC directly, but selling the stake is the way that you could exit the platform if you wanted to, or like Agu said, you could take that BNB, send it back into the lobby to get more ABC and then compound your gains over time. So it's like, tons of it's different like ways flipping. To it's like flipping, yeah, yeah in a way. Sure. I, I love to do that myself. So <laughs> I've, I've, I've only flipped one so far, but it was great. It's definitely unique, guys. That's something that and it's appealing too, because you know there are people that are hunting. There's kind of sharks on the side waiting for it, and then there's also people inevitably that are going to be hard up for some some quick cash every once in a while. So really cool system there. Um, so now, like, there's a maximum amount of days, though, right? How many days will this go? How much supply um, is going out there? So the supply decreases by 0.5% each day. We started day one with 3 million tokens per day and it's gone down 0.5%. So it would actually take over like a century to get the lobby down to zero. So these auctions are ongoing indefinitely, but there will be fewer and fewer tokens. It does slow down quite a bit once you get, you know, sort of to the halfway point. So there, there's, in our lifetimes anyway, there will always be ABC available in a daily auction. That's so crazy, man. I, I think it's such a, a cool way to spin it. You know, there's so many different, uh, I guess there's not so many different, but there's there's a lot of passive income projects out there. And, you know, I, I know that people uh, like certain ones, don't like certain ones. Now, how does it, how does it 
keep it sustainable with this go with you know with people depositing BNB. I see that there's some sort of a tax element, but how does it work? How does it how does it make it sustainable? Yeah, so because with each passing day, the dividends get paid out further into the future, it always ensures that there's something there for the stakes to collect. Now, the other thing that people kind of probably picked up on is the fact that every stake is getting diluted every day because there's more tokens coming online, which means that, you know, the share you bought 10 days ago is now a smaller proportion of the total ABC in existence. So there's an element of that built right in where you have to sort of keep up with reinvestment over time in order to maintain your share. Otherwise, you know, 100 or 300 days from now, what you started with on day one will be worth far less than what you started, you know, what you have at the end, which is okay. But so that basically incentivizes people to recycle at least some of their BNB rewards back into the lobby to maintain their share to continue the BNB rewards that they're, you know, getting over time. So Obviously, you know, we're going to reach as many communities as we can and get people in. But, you know, for example, we're at day 20. We know that there's a ton of 30 day stakes out there. So we know that there's a good pod of BNB currently locked up that's going to become available. And we expect people to send a, a good chunk of that back into the lobby. So it'll sort of kind of ebb and flow over time, but it will we'll continue to pull forward into that future and make sure that there's a payout for everybody. And also, like that slow dilution is something you have to take into account when you buy or sell a stake. So that, like, that goes, you know, goes all all goes together in the end. And referencing back to um, T2X, which is the platform that we that this is all based on, um, the all time highs came after 30 days for exactly the reasons that I just talked to. You know, everybody. Everyone's out of ammo after that first couple of weeks. And then, you know, once those divs start to unlock, things start to boom again. So I think you're coming in at the perfect time right now to snipe a whack load of AVC and make sure that you're set up for, for the next wave that's coming. It's, it is cheap at the moment for sure. So big time. Yeah. We we all FOMO'd in when the lobbies were like <laughs> higher. <laughs> like we, uh, I'm not I'm not immune to it. I'm not immune to it. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Good question. I'm though. just sitting. I'm okay. just sitting here chatting away to a muted mic. Um, let's see here. So a couple <laughs> other things that I wanted to say. Uh, obviously, mobile optimized. Thought that part was cool. Um, I'm assuming everything is managed by smart contracts, right? Like everything in this is is pretty, I guess, hands off from the team standpoint. Pretty decentralized. So, I mean, is there anything that's that's kind of manually driven that requires one of you guys to do something to execute on this project? Uh, you know, for its lifespan. The only thing that we're manually doing at the moment is is contests, really. Everything yeah, really, like exactly. within the platform, yeah, everything else is baked right into the contract. The referrals happen automatically. The BNB dividend collection or payout happens automatically. So the only input we require from you is to go in and actually collect or to enter the auctions, but the smart contracts execute everything else. Beautiful stuff, guys. I really want to shine a spotlight on this referral system because I am such a huge proponent of referral systems in this space. Um, tell me a little bit more, uh, a little bit more about it. Do I earn off of if I refer somebody uh, and they refer somebody? Do I get that? Do I get any benefit from that? From that like second tier? Al, do you want to take yeah. this one? Yeah, in this case, uh, not. So uh, there is only. Uh, only you know if you refer someone he gets one percent you get five percent so that's it's it's pretty simple in that regard so yeah answer is no so yeah the, the system isn't like drip for example where there's uplines mm. and downlines it it's all it is is a, a url that um, a person using your link would click through and then it cookies your wallet in their browser so that it knows to pay your wallet the the referral so yeah it, you can't go like 15 layers down but YouTubers can definitely make a good buck by shilling out the referral link. Nice. Now, I know you guys have a plethora of experience when it comes to these style of projects. Where are you guys at right now, now in like the scale of the biggest in terms of, you know, like where where are you guys at with the comparable project? Well, I mean, there was nothing like us two weeks ago besides us. And obviously now we're in sort of the war of the clones, but we are far and away have the highest TVL. I mean, we've collected over 30, almost 30,000 BNB in, in under three weeks. We were trending number one on DAP yeah. radar across every metric, basically the whole time. So we, we blew the hell up and, you know, we're very, very proud of that and, and not going to back down. Now, obviously, you know, competition, I'm sure will come online and I'm sure we'll, we'll, try and you know pilfer off some of our users but 
we're here. You you see who we are. You'll see us in the chat. The rad dad you're talking to in Telegram is me, right? So and and the team's coming with integrity, and uh, we're here to, for the long haul. So that that's you know who we are and and what we we're gonna do. That's awesome, guys. I just didn't know if there was like some uh, somebody that that had you know a, a hundred thousand BNB log. I mean, what's what's the? I, I guess how do you guys? qualify success what what to you what what to you guys is when you look at this project and say yeah i left my stamp on crypto here um what, what, like what is that level for you guys I, I i would say that you know the the security of the of the contract for the investor in this regard you know you you can look in in 10 years you know backwards and see hey hey this uh, this uh, project avarice uh, they were legit. They did the job. They 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 made it happen. They they were like morally and uh, integrally, you know, you know, doing it for for the investor, for the people. It's not like I know DeFi and uh, the crypto world is full of something that I might not want to say here, but uh, uh, there's there's a difference that I feel like this team has in, in regard. To many of those, like not so, uh, I can't find the word right now. But yeah, yeah. And for me, it's it's about longevity and and much like how you said, integrity, right? Like we wanted to build something that worked, and we wanted to build something that would be around for a long time. So like T two X is technically still online. Like you could still go participate in the auctions. Obviously, the momentum has you know two years out now is not what it was for sure, but we weren't didn't want to put something in the market that was a pump and dump that was going to die in a, you know a couple of weeks as as you see so often in the space so we're here for the long term we're we're working on a, a couple new things and and we're we're always thinking about what's next for abc and and the rest of the team but yeah we want to make sure that everybody that enters ultimately rois and gets their profit right like that's that's the goal and and to do that we just need a, an engaged community which we absolutely have our community is is just phenomenal but also a committed team and and that's what you got in us so that, that's that's where I'm at, man. And then, I mean, during the worst times that I've seen on crypto at the moment for the last, you know, two or three years, the, the amount of people coming in for, for you know, the, the community that's behind our project, is, it's just insane to see the, you know, the positivity that we have in the Telegram chats, in the in the Discord. And uh, as you said in the beginning, the, the YouTubers just, you know, flowing in like, hey, I made a video. Hey, I made a video. It's it's beautiful to see. And that's that's like a curriculum that that, you know, we are going to have in the in the future. And uh, I mean, we're here for it and we'll stay here. So, hey. Awesome stuff, guys. So like when it comes to obviously like every single crypto, you need new holders, you need volume in a sense, I guess for you guys, you need people filling up uh, in the auctions. So what has been the strategy so far? Obviously, the referral system plays a huge part. It goes viral by itself, but you guys can kind of control some things uh, to a certain degree. Uh, what has been your main focus point? And who's your ideal partner in, in this kind of a project? I mean, we're really looking for engaged communities that that already know passive income and, and want something stable because I love ROI dApps. I'm in a bunch of them. But the problem is the token fluctuates so much that your ROI, even though you're getting, you know, one, two, three percent, whatever it is, it can fluctuate dramatically and ruin your gains. And but here you're getting BNB. It's a top 10 coin, right? Like it's it's something that people want to hold for the long term. So we're trying to draw in people that are are ultimately trying to stack B and B, especially throughout the bear market. Because I mean, realistically, if you're buying B and B in at around what two twenty five or two thirty, where it is, and it was down under two hundred bucks like last week, um, you know, you stack it up in average for sixty, ninety, a hundred days, and then we come out of this you know crazy bear market that we've been in, it goes six hundred plus. Like you're laughing, right? So yeah, I'm imagine a like. Engineer. Oh my God! Like, come on, you—that—that'd be the play be of the beautiful. year, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, well, I'm, I'm ball steep into the project and and right as well. So you know, I I want that for sure. Like, even even if we're working for the team and and for Avarice, like I got my money in there. So hey, same same man. But yeah, we uh we obviously we you, you nailed it. I mean, every project needs volume. Every project needs new holders. Um. But we want to do that through a history of proven results. Like we don't want to try to bring people in just as exit liquidity. That's why sustainability is important to us because we want to be able to make sure that 
even if it does take maybe a little longer, you still get your ROI, you still get your profit. And then when you get your AVC tokens back at the end of your stake, you restake them. They may not be as big of a share as the, of the pool as when they started, but they're still going to earn dividends over the long term. So yeah, that, that's, you know, we're, we're continuing to reach out to new communities. We're leveraging our existing community to sort of tap their communities. And, and we're happy to do these conversations with anybody and, and to bring as many people into the platform as we can. It's kind of a, a cool thing because you have an event every single day, just like you guys were talking about. It's kind of like a launch every day, right? So you can you can just sit there and just enjoy it. If you came in, you can read all about it. You have plenty of time to do due diligence and everything else and, and take advantage of good op- auctions. But, um, you know, I'm looking through questions that are coming in now. Um, before we dive into them, I did want to toss it back to you guys. Now, the, once you get the hang of it, it seems pretty easy. And I think we've covered just about everything. If we if we highlight the staking one more time, the thing I would ask is, what kind of strategies have you guys seen be successful? Is there are, are certain groups doing certain things? Do you guys take a personal strategy? Do you encourage beginners to go with a certain strategy? Talk me through the strategy side of things. Yeah, I mean, I could answer that for my part. Um, uh, at the moment, because we're at day 20, uh, I wouldn't recommend, as, as Rad said before, to go for like a one day, five day uh, stake because, you know, you're losing one to like 48 hours uh, after that stake ends to restake those tokens and for it to be active. So there's like um, in, in that regard, there's no point in doing that. But uh, personally, what I've done is I've made a few uh, stakes for 30 days. So now when when those end, I'll have many days, you know, collecting BNB. You know, so it's like a like a, well, like a ladder in a in a in a way. But then I have also a few stakes for 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 a year for 300, well, nearly a year, uh, 10 months in this case. And um, then I have a few for 150 and a few for 90. So I want to get some BNB out, you know, during that time. So that's why I have different stakes uh, in place. Uh, what Rad said before about three ones, well. That's like the basic strategy if you want to go just with something simple. But I have like 20 stakes in there, like different lengths. So so it's, it's whatever you want to do, right? Yeah, on my end, I, I started out like the first week every day I went in, I, I laddered 30s. So I'm much like Algu, I've mm. got, you know, day 30, day 31, day 32, day 33. But I've also got some 60-day stakes and a 75-day stake as well that, that will go off on the, the end. But... Um, something interesting that our community was doing that I thought was such a cool idea is they basically set stakes to pay for life events. So this they, <laughs> one person had a Christmas present stake. One person had a, you know, hol- winter holiday stake. So they're kind of timing their stakes to end when they're going to need the money to do whatever it is they want to do, which I thought was such an so awesome good. thing. That, yeah, it was really cool. But again, you know, you could set up your stake with the entire intention of flipping it to get that BNB back to then, you know, go into the lobby again and get more AVC. Cause like, if you can two X on a stake sale, now you've got double the BNB you had before go back in the lobby, you get, you know, somewhere around twice the number of tokens, depending on what kind of day it is in the auction lobby. And then you can restake those and, and keep going. So options are endless. I, I like a set it and forget it kind of guy. I don't want to, ha- I don't you know go for the advanced tactics, but I know, I know some friends personally that have like min max the crap out of this thing and have been flipping stakes and, and, you know, going long, going short, and you just gotta, you know, find what works for you. That is awesome guys. Now I had questions coming in. I did want to throw it back over to you. Do you guys want to talk about or cover anything that we didn't cover about the app or the project or maybe some future plans that you guys have lined up um, in terms of, you know, how you want to take this strategically? whether it be marketing or development or anything along those lines. Yeah, for sure. So two two items I, I might touch on. And, and one is sort of in celebration of this call today, we've actually we've got a contest going on. So everyone's got, you know, four and a half hours left to get in that auction lobby. But for anybody that goes 0.3 BNB or more, you'll be entered into a draw for one BNB. And we're going to pick five winners after today's auction lobby. So you might be able to ROI your entire, uh, your entire contribution in, in a single day just by winning this contest. So that would be uh that would be pretty sweet. And we do do contests fairly often, including things such as like we'll we'll give away 1% of the auction lobby for that day. And then that's something we'll probably do, you know, in coming days. So every day is something new. 
But in terms of development, um, something that the community like really, really wants is, is a, like a lottery. Um, so it does two things. It's exciting, obviously, but it also brings volume to the, the lobby. So the idea would be that you contribute an amount to B&B, which we're still figuring it out, which would get you a ticket into the auction, uh, into the lottery. And then if you win the lottery, you get the whole pool, but it goes right to the lobby under your wallet. So it's volume for everybody that will ultimately get redistributed as dividends for the whole pool. Everybody wins, but one person's going to get a nice lump of ABC out of it at the end. So Dev's currently working on that, and we're, we're hoping it doesn't take too, too long, but uh, we'll, we'll keep everybody updated as we've got it. Awesome, awesome. Let me see here. Mr. Uh, M. King came in with one. He says, uh, I want to ask a question about the auction system. Uh, thinking about smaller investors, they will have to compete directly with whales in the auctions that may cause people to have difficulties getting into the system. Um, I'm not sure if you quite understood how, how it worked, but uh, do you have any plans to create different auctions with limits to max uh, investment so everyone has a better chance to actually get a better rate on ABC tokens? Uh, no, we're not going to split the auction in that way. I think it would create issues in terms of the dividend payouts. But the fun thing is, like, some whales went in in our heaviest days. Like, we had a day where it was over 3,000 BNB, and they put in 100 BNB and got, you know, their tokens, where you could have done the same thing for 3 BNB yesterday. So for the smaller guys, it's probably better to wait and watch the auction lobby for days that are very low, then go in and get your bigger share. So... In, and the other thing is the day one whales have all been continuously diluted up until 20 days where we are now. So their initial buys, if they haven't been keeping up by reinvesting those dividends, the whales are slowly getting eaten away by the small guys now. So if you actually check out our, our telegram, there's a, a few people in there that have been DCAing like for do dollar cost averaging, like one BNB a day, for example, for a long time. And they have now accumulated more tokens than some of the people that went way heavier earlier on. So I would just pick your moment is, is what I suggest for people that are, you know, smaller players. Interesting. This might be uh, this might be a good exercise for all of us. I know we have uh, we've had quite a few people that have joined in the last like 15 minutes or so. I'd say uh, Mr. Luke came in with one. He says, sorry to ask. It may be a busy day, but I'm a bit bit overwhelmed on how it works. Could you do a quick walkthrough right now just to, to through the panel? If I want to invest, how do I do it? Yeah, I don't know if I can actually share my screen. Um, General, is that something you could do? Because I could talk you through it if you can. Um, I can't hear because I'm actually doing them on mobile uh, myself unless gotcha. I need to flip over to the laptop. Um, you can try to do the share screen right there, but it's it's pretty simple because, I mean, once you understand it, you got it. You can just click it with a few buttons. But um, maybe for everybody that's tuning in, you can kind of navigate them to the web page and they can kind of see it on their own. Yeah, so if you access our DAP, which you can go to avarystoken.io and then click Get ABC, or there's the dashboard button up in the top right of the site, it's the lobby tab that you'll be looking for if you're participating for the first time. On that page, you will see every previous day's lobby, and the one at the very top will be the current day's lobby. On the right-hand side, little, there's a the... little, I'm going to, a little note, you yeah, have yeah. to connect your wallet before that, obviously. There you, thank you. But, yes, you got to connect yeah, your DSC no problem, wallet. No problem. No, no, it's good. And then on the right-hand side of that auction, you'll see a button that says enter. It'll bring up a pop-up box, and all you have to do is input the amount of BNB that you want to enter in the auction. There is no minimum. Um, so you, I think it says 0.1, but that's just an example. You can do less than 0.1 if you want to, and then you just hit enter, and it'll you'll pay the gas, and then you'll be in that day's lobby. At the end of auction, there's a countdown timer right at the top of our site. You will go back to that exact same spot, and that button will say collect. And that's all you press to collect your ABC. At that point, it will generate the referral rewards, as I talked about earlier. And then from there, you'll, they'll be in your wallet, and you can go to the staking tab. On the staking tab, it's very simple. There's just two boxes to enter. How much are you staking? How long are you staking it for? Very simple. After that, you'll see all of your active stakes in your staking dashboard. You can follow their progress. You can see how many BNB dividends they've accrued. And that number will change every day that the auction lobby goes on. So you're kind of right. It, Sounds way more complicated than it actually is. It's a few button clicks once you're into the dashboard, and once you've done it once, you're you're golden for the rest. And then the, uh, I, I I would just want to add that uh, we have like maybe probably fifteen to twenty videos of this, like just a simple how to. 
uh, in YouTube already. So just, uh, you know, write average token and uh, how to buy. That's it. You'll, you'll find like a gazillion videos out there uh, that will, they, they will walk through the exact same thing that Rad just uh, walked us through. So it's, it's fairly simple. When you see it, it's, it's fairly simple for sure. Awesome. I think that was a good explanation, guys. Once you, once you get it, you, it clicks, man. It, you, you see it, it, it's it's easy to navigate. It just takes that moment where it just clicks for you. Uh, Jesse basically came in, or uh, Jesse basically uh, came in with a question that says, uh, how does the team get compensated for their efforts for the, the, the long-term purposes? Yeah, so great question. So every day we collect 6% of the auction lobby and two of that is held for buybacks contests and and marketing and then the team uh collects four percent of the daily auction lobby and that's what we use to pay the entire team um which includes our extended moderator team as well so there's a basically 94 percent of all dividends that are collect or all bnb that's collected during the day is redistributed as rewards and then the team only ends up four percent at the end so we're you know we didn't want to drain the system by any means. We want to make sure that everybody did get paid and continue to build for the long term because I think that's important. Um, but you know, we wanted to to do it as fairly as possible for everybody. Very good. I see a lot of of hands up here. I'm gonna start uh getting some of these questions that I see coming in guys. Uh Maxwell, I got you unmuted if you want to throw your question out there while I'm going through these uh written ones. Welcome, welcome. Oh, it popped off. We lost Maxwell. Maxwell, if you come back on, man, uh, you can you can chat. Uh, holy <laughs> Krypton, I got you unmuted. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, yes we can. Oh yeah, so um, beautiful project to have here. Um, you know, I just raised my hand so that you know, I've been listening to you guys and you have an awesome presentation and. Uh, a nice project, you know. I went through your Telegram and community, you know. Uh, I don't really have a question. Uh, you no, know, just wanted to commend you guys on the good work. So yeah, um, love seeing your faces. Um, really encouraging. Uh, nice stuff, guys. Thanks, um, General Gollum. Nice being here. Oh, good stuff. Just some affirmations. All right, cool. Holy Krypton. Awesome. Hope you jump in there. I love it. <laughs> Thank you up. very much. Um, Thank you. Uh, Daniel, I got you unmuted if you wanted to throw your question out there. Don't be shy. <laughs> Meta boy, I also got you unmuted if you want to throw yours out there too. Whoever gets it first. Someone. So remember, Hello. remember, guys, you got it. Oh, there you go, Meta Boy. Uh, thank you, General Extra. Uh, TG got me kicked. <laughs> it's kind of like. And hello, guys. Elgu, Red Dad. How you doing? Hello. Guys? Great, thanks. How are you? Oh, he got muted might, again. We might have lost him. I don't oh, know. Sorry. Oh, there, there we go. go. There he is. Kick again. <laughs> yeah, I am going to the question. Uh, uh, we are in yeah in a bear market right now. Uh, how do you plan to uh, sustain in the bear market? And uh, if there's any more like BTC drop again, uh, do you guys are going to uh, uh, yeah planning for that things? I mean, that's. I mean, you got it. I'll, yeah, go ahead. I just wanted wanted to say that well, we broke the bear market by launching Avarice, so yeah, that's what happened. So, but yeah, you can you can you can yeah, who, you can who knew there was five million of BNB sitting on the sidelines just waiting for a sponge, right? But anyway, yeah, um, that's the thing. Like the price of BTC drives the market. We all know this, but the the point is that we're stacking BNB. Like that's forget the dollar, you know, cost of it. We're we're just trying to accumulate as much BNB as possible. So I mean, as BNB gets cheaper. Theoretically, the lobbies should get bigger because people can actually buy more BNB and stake, you know, and, and then it gets paid out as dividends over the long term. So um, we're not too worried about another BTC drop. I would love for it to not drop. I've got other investments that really could use it to rise up. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. 
Oh, that's that's a solid answer, guys. Uh, maybe another one. Do you have any planning for a uh, different language um, marketing plan? Like, uh, yeah, you're doing globally, but uh, do you have any specific country targeted marketing maybe for the community? I could answer quickly here. Um, we already have, uh, uh, well, I mean, Rad can explain a little bit, you know, closer. I th think I'm not too into what's going on uh, in the background, but uh, what I do know is uh, we are in talks with um, with a community of uh, Latin and Spanish, you know, speaking investors, and we also have a few communities already building up. I think in Germany and China at the moment. Germany, Chinese, and there's an Italian Telegram as well. So that so oh, we, yeah. we're covering yeah. our bases, but if we're going, we're, we're spreading. <laughs> yeah, so we we'll happily set up a Discord channel for whatever language you know you speak. If you want to, you know, join in there and chat, that's fine. But if you want an actual dedicated Telegram channel in any language, um, please DM one of the admins, and and we're happy to talk about what that looks like. Yeah, that's very great, man. Uh, I, you make me smile with your uh, great answer, man. Uh, yeah, I'm from <laughs> Indonesia, and uh, I have some uh, uh, crypto community group. So uh, I, I've jumped into your Telegram group. Maybe we can do some development in uh, Indonesian market, man. Thank you uh, very much, and uh, for the privilege, uh, General. Thank you. Uh, successful project to the moon, guys. To the moon. Awesome. Th thank you, Meta Boy. Appreciate it, man. Um, let's see here, Daniel, I got you unmuted. If you want to throw your question out there still, I got you unmuted. Let's see, microphone issues. Daniel, feel free to shoot to me uh, in DM. I'll ask it for you. Elmania, I got you unmuted. Elmania. Elmania was never the, seen again. I know. Like, come on, guys. You got, uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, what happened there? Down to, uh, hey, guys. Let's see. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Elmania. Oh, hello. Uh, all right. Sorry. My telegram was just kind of laggy somehow. So um, I read that um, you are going to be having a referral system. And that got me thinking, if I refer someone, they're going to be like a, 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 something like, um, what's it called? A promo code that if I give someone that code and someone logs in using that code of mine, he kind of gets a, a certain percent of whatever he's earning. Like, for example, like 20% or 30% on his initial deposit. I, I don't know if you get what my point. Uh, so they get 1% extra on every purchase that they make through the auction and you get 5% per bonus, 5% of whatever they buy as well. And you don't even have to participate in the auction that day to get those rewards. So it's just a fixed percentage. And, and that happens every time, not just on the initial one. So anytime they buy through, as long as your wallet uh, uh, was used in, in the referral, then you'll get that bonus and so will they. Mm, that's, that's really nice. That's really nice. Because I, at first, when I saw the referral system, I thought it was just going to be like the initial deposit, then the rest is just going to be no trouble. You just clear that out. So uh, just a quick one. Now that the market is kind of like, uh, it's kind of deep, and what what have you guys put in place to kind of stay afloat? And this, now that the system is kind of in the ramp right now. I mean, I think I kind of touched on that in the answer there last time. But I mean, the idea right now is to bring in as many new users as possible. And then once those stakes have matured is to keep them in the system by providing value over the long term. So, you know, the team is constantly working to develop new ideas that that will keep people here. But I mean, the returns have been I, amazing, honestly, for I think everybody's happy still at this point. We're 20 days in, you know, the, the quote the token can't tank because there's no price and everyone's still getting their, their daily percent. So feeling pretty good about that overall. Um, for us, it's just a matter of continuing to market, continuing to educate, continuing to push and to get as many new faces into that telegram and the discord as possible to keep the party going. Cause uh, I find like, it's funny, you know, I, I float around a ton of different chats and it, it, you know, there's a lot of people that hang exclusively in our chat or what it feels like anyway, cause it's just a good vibe and uh, they like the project. So. Really nice. Really nice. You guys have a really great project. Thanks. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Appreciate you hopping on, man. 
Um, let me see here. Daniel, I still got you unmuted, man. I'm just waiting for you to start talking. I'm just going to leave you unmuted. If you, if you chime in, you, you're welcome to. Let's see here. Uh, give me one quick second. That's moving all around. Crypto or cryptos. Cryptos, I got you unmuted. Cryptos and Mary, I got you unmuted. Either of you guys want to throw your questions out there. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can yes, hear you. We can. Hi. Uh, sorry, but I missed the first. Maybe you have gone through this already. But I was, I was wondering more about the utility. You can stake the token. Can you use it for something else? Uh, right now, staking is the primary utility, but we are definitely kicking around ideas about other partnerships and, and things that we can develop that will utilize the ABC token. But I mean, at its core, it were a staking platform, and that's what the token was designed to do. Okay. So, and, and also, I wanted to know what, where do you see yourself, like in five years? Or... I mean, we're st we'll still be auctioning in five years. So, as long as the community is still behind us, we'll all still be earning passive BNB in five years' time. Thank you. I mean, I'd be happy to be alive in five years, but hey, you know, who knows? <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Step one, right? No goose, step one. <laughs> I said I'm the, I'm the team clown, so hey, it's all. <laughs> yeah. We can. Hello. 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 Am I audible hey. enough? All right, all right, all right. Thank you so much. It's nice talking with you. My telegram is lagging, so perhaps you touched on my question, but I just want to clear myself. That is um, charity. Will you venture into charity? Because you know that uh, there are many persons who out there may be interested in your project, but um, due to one thing or the other, they need the help. So I want to know if uh, you venture into charity. And if you will, do you have any plans to, like something like incubation program, you know, to train, um, train, to bring up um, um, up, uh, upcoming uh, projects, something to help others that can be of assistance to them? That's my question. I mean, it's a, it's a really, really nice uh, idea and a good question. Thank you for that. I mean, we're always looking for new, you know, paths for, for us in the future. And uh, I, I think that it's a fairly difficult area in, in crypto for sure. But uh, as an idea, it's, very, it, it's, it's fairly good and uh, something that we could, you know, look at in the future for sure i'm personally i, I wouldn't say no to probably anything because you know you can you can always get something out of uh, you know, whatever the idea is but uh we are looking at you know a lot of new things coming uh, along the the way so yeah at the moment not i think no one in our team has ever talked about charity or anything that relates to it but uh uh, I, I like the aspect of it because uh, there is, uh, I don't remember which, which investor, I, I, I heard some, some podcast one day while driving uh, at work and uh, uh, it was someone like wealthy, 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 who, who was talking about like where to invest the, their own money. And uh, he said something that, you know, has stayed with me that, that it, well, basically what he said is uh, I invest in people in the future and in in like things that help people thrive and uh, the world itself so i think in in that regard i i like the idea personally but that's something we have to talk with the team for sure and uh i mean we'll see we'll see we have a list we have a long list of things that we need to talk about and uh, that's something uh we are gonna write up that hey maybe there's something that we can do you know, to help everybody, to help ourselves, you know, because business is business after all. So it can't be like just throw money out and uh, then, but yeah, hey, it's a, it's a good, uh, good idea. Thank you. Thank you for that. It, I absolutely agree with that. And 
the Algorithm, we haven't necessarily touched on that exact thing yet, but mm. one thing we are super passionate about is doing what the community wants, right? We're very receptive to feedback and implementing ideas. So that's, you know, I know the community's all going to have a lot of B&B, you know, gains over the time and how we can, you know, make another use of those or, or you know, figure something out. I think it's an awesome idea. So thank you for that, that idea. We'll definitely add it to that list. Awesome stuff. Uh, Aisha, I got you unmuted if you want to throw yours out there. Aisha. Aisha, Aisha. Blue Whale, I got you unmuted. Aisha. Aisha. Hold on. What I want to ask is, do you have any partnership with any coin? Oh, no, it's a great question. And question. No, no, something I was... I can't answer directly because we're still in talks, but we are definitely in talks with a number of other projects about, you know, how we bring each other utility and expand our community outreach. So I have nothing I can formally announce yet, but talks are definitely underway. Awesome stuff. I hope that answered the question. There was a ton of feedback there. Um, Maxwell, I got you unmuted. Maxwell. Yeah, hello. Nice and great idea about the staking and all. I I feel the staking and the savings are part of the idea of the project. Uh, I really just want to ask a question that drives towards that part where you talk about people uh, staking and for a period of time that they will need the money for Christmas. I believe it's a very good approach to market and to drive people to come into the community to get uh, involved in this project. So what, what I want to ask is, do you have plans to uh, partner with uh, banking sector, uh, the, the e-commerce platform to encourage people to just tie their money down, just with those true keys of the budget? Because I believe if you use this medium, you will get a better outreach. Because people know that if they drop their money somewhere and they are needing it for Christmas, they will get double of what they, they invest. Something like a, a good savings plan. You understand what I'm saying? Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, I'm following what you're saying. I think that the challenge no. with a project, like, sorry, I mean to cut you off there. Um, no, you, you can go on. You can go ahead. Okay. I no, no, I, I think it's a great idea and I think it works with a lot of projects, but the challenge with ours is because there's no liquidity, it means the AVC token doesn't necessarily have a price. And then, so if you were to use it to transact, there, people wouldn't know how to assign a value to it. And, and we're not going to be adding liquidity. We wanted it to be purely a utility token um, for the staking platform. So using it in something like e-commerce might be challenging, um, but I totally understand the idea of broader, you know, spreading the, the, the token to a broader because audience through it, that channel. Yeah, it, it will virtually encourage savings. People will just get the token for savings and turn them back to them later on when they need it, when they need it. Yeah. So, my... Oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought you were done, <laughs> Blue Will. I apologize, man. Uh Sorry, let me get through a couple other ones. I see a lot of hands up. Maxwell, I got you unmuted. Um, and Bexton links as well, if you guys wanted to try to throw your questions out there. Once again, guys, you might have to hit that middle mute button. I got uh, three people unmuted. Remember, just hit that middle unmute button and you are good to go. And I'll just say thank you, Blue Whale. And this point for the comments before hey guys can you hear me hello yes yeah. oh yeah so you can hear me right oh, oh yeah oh yeah so thanks for the opportunity guys you know um uh i went to your um project and it's looking great guy um nice job so my question was gonna be consider current mac also, um, you have plans for burning, you know, burning some tokens anytime soon, you know, just to add to bomb and give some investors, you know, some kind of hope, uh, you know, just for that. And also, um, I wanted to know, um, what system have you got in place, you know, 
to buy land and sell. You know, we don't want the investors to overbuy. No, I I said overbuy. Huh. You don't want the investors to oversell. You know, the big wheels. You know, if the of the oversell, just um, you know, uh, cause uh fraud in the project. So um, what system have you actually put in place? So that's my questions. Uh, sure. Yeah. So two parts there. Um, we'll, we'll do on the first one. So in terms of like just air dropping people tokens, we're, we're not going to do that. We do have the referral system, which is pretty, pretty robust in my opinion. But something I didn't mention in the staking is that we actually offer bonus tokens for longer stakes. So the longer stake you take, the more bonus ABC tokens you'll get at the end of that stake. And that the idea is to help with some of that dilution that happens from having a daily auction. So for example, if you go for a 300 day stake, you will actually get, I think over slightly over a hundred percent additional ABC at the end of that stake. Or 105. Yeah. Sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll basically double your ABC over that time. Um, In terms of whales dumping, I mean, that's, one of the beautiful things about the project is that they can't uh, because there's no liquidity, there's no price. They can't sell all their bags and dump the price, which then ruins the community because they just thought out that the project is dead. I mean, they have to continually buy into the the platform to be able to maintain their positions over time. So even if someone went heavy and became a whale on day one, that doesn't mean they're going to be a whale on day 30 if they just took their gains and and haven't done anything with them. So um, I think, it's a bit unique and, and and not something that you've probably experienced before, but I think it's one of the, the coolest aspects of this project is that, you know, it, that can't happen in this case. You know, the okay. tokenomics, they, they, they make it so, you know, every investor, even if you throw in a little amount of money or even a bigger one, you know, you're always going to profit in some way. So, so the tokenomics, you know, secure your position in a way, uh, in in that way that you know uh, it's it's safe to go in and not you know get wrecked by a big whale or something like that. So yeah, most definitely, guys. And if okay. anybody's new to if anybody's new uh, and, and and kind of missed out on some of the fundamentals behind the project, check out the recording after we're done. If you still have questions, check out the the website. If you still have questions. I mean, hop in there and ask from the, from the team. Get some perspective firsthand from investors sure. that are in there. And they, we have they, a yeah. we have an army of mods. We have an army of of team members that everybody's eager to help. So hey, shoot your questions. We are we are in Discord and Telegram. No problem. Perfect, Bexton. I got you unmuted. I see you there. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening. Yeah, I want oh. to know: Is it only on on the website that? Uh, you can participate or is there any plans of listing the token in uh, other centralized and the decentralized exchanges like uh, no uh, no okay it's only on the website you can buy yes. and stake All because right, of so. the reasons that rad just explained that we don't have liquidity we can't you know it's not a pump and dump uh, kind of coin uh, it only works through the dap and uh that way every investor uh, is safe from that FUD and that, you know, a loss of money that I've been part myself of. I've been rugged before. We're all been rugged before, probably most of us. Uh, and, uh, this week, that's... Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Since well, that liquidity, I guess it's a nice project because uh, because of the uh, fear of this uh, pump and dump, that's why most people, they don't want to uh, kind exactly. of putting their hard earned money to a project like this. Since there's no liquidity, I think it's a nice project. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bexton, thank you so much. Good questions, guys. You know, I, I know that we're kind of running out of time here, guys, and I see a lot of questions that are uh, a little bit redundant, stuff that we covered a couple of times. So again, guys, I want to encourage you to check out the recording, ask your questions um, after this AMA. I know there's still quite a bit that are out there. Now I want to toss it back over to you guys as we close it out. What do you want to leave people with? What do you, you know, what, what, what? Uh, I, I guess maybe some bullish sentiment for the future, the upcoming days, the upcoming weeks, the the, the long term outlook. Uh, maybe you can leave us with some some good words. Yeah, for sure. I would just say take advantage of the the, the few dip days that we've had here to get a big bag now, because you know when dividends start recycling back into the program and our our outreach and marketing continues, those lobby days are only going to grow from here. So this is the perfect opportunity to jump in, 
and and get yourself a, a good position. And then you'll start taking advantage of all of those BNB dividend rewards. The team will keep developing. We'll hopefully get that lottery uh, function up and running very soon. And then there'll be much more in the future to come. So yeah, we're, we're extremely bullish on it. Join our community. It's a they're there to answer questions too. They they really love the project and everyone that's involved is super passionate about it. So I think you'll I think you'll find it's uh it's a it's a really cool place to hang out. Nothing to add there. Nothing to add. Hey. <laughs> you guys crushed it, man. <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's you know, it. He... You guys you guys absolutely crushed it. And I hope that people get a chance to at least go on there and explore the platform that you guys have created. You know, at least jump in the community, ask some questions, get a feel for it. Very supportive, very welcoming. Um, all the good things that you want to see in a passive income project. So um, awesome stuff, guys. Uh, you, you knocked it out. And for everybody that's been listening in, one more time, averagetoken.io. Uh, at Avarice Official, you can hop over there, ask any questions to their team or their community, kind of a, a combo there between the two. Um, so, yeah, guys, awesome stuff. Thanks once again for bringing this to us. I, I, I'm going to say personally, I had a good time researching this one because it was new. It was, it was unique. It was it was fun. No, I appreciate the time and I'm thanks glad. for having us. Thank you, yeah. man. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for your questions. And uh, we are, as Rad Dad said before, we have a little competition ongoing. So, hey, make sure to... Check it out and uh, let's have some fun tonight. I mean, that sounded wrong, but hey, well, <laughs> 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 it is what it is, right? Oh, my God. Awesome stuff. For everybody that's been listening in, um, that does it for today's show. You know, once again, guys, I was blown away doing the research on this as it was super unique to me. Very cool experience to chat and learn from Elgu and Rad Dad as well. Um, appreciate you guys hopping on video as it was great to see a face behind the voice and the project. Every day at 12 a.m. UTC is like a new launch over there. New opportunities coming all the time. Super cool stuff. Make sure you check them out, guys. Uh, just a quick reminder, we'll be announcing the winners of the giveaway very shortly. Make sure you follow us on, on Twitter, at Gollum Shims. Uh, hop into these awesome discussions that we have been having lately. Uh, thanks once again, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you again uh, the next time we open it up. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> on that note, bye-bye.